Yet yeah, another international break is upon us, and with the games coming thick and fast, let's quick fire reflect on the club season so far with five proper questions that need answering. Is Barcelona as bad as they seem? Yeah. And no. I mean, yeah, they've been just terrible. But there is some light. Beyond all the financial chaos that they're still mired in, if they can find a way to fire manager Ronald Koeman, who is owed about 12 million euros on his deal, which is somewhat problematic, <clears throat> and replace him with someone who embraces dynamic attack in football like, say, I don't know, Xavi, then this team might still come together. After all, it has loads of young, dynamic, attacking players. Ninth place at the moment, five points back at first place. Forget about Europe, two straight losses. But this season could be salvaged yet. Yeah. Is PSG doomed to failure once again? No, no. Did you see them beat Man City last week? And yeah, I know they lost on the weekend, but still, that means nothing. In the table, they're six points clear with eight wins out of nine so far. Leo Messi just scored his first for the club. And let's face it, even when you have a front three of Messi, Mbappe and Neymar, they do still have time to bed in together. It won't happen straight away, but it will eventually. And even if Mauricio Pochettino doesn't like it, he will find a way to accommodate his three completely one-dimensional, i.e. lazy players, into this 11 because the other eight players are not lazy and they're all pretty good as well. Don't worry, PSG fans. They might break your heart, but they'll be very, very, very good this season. Has Ronaldo made Manchester United better? At the box office, for sure. On the pitch, I'm not so sure. That match against Villarreal last week might be something we see lots of this season for United. He and his team were really quite poor for all but about 10 seconds. And then in that 10 seconds, he scores the winning goal. He is brilliant. Brilliant at what he does. But is he really what United need? Let's look at the numbers so far with CR7. Okay, I know it's a small sample size, but three wins, three losses, and one draw. Not great. And coming up for this team, Leicester, Liverpool, Atalanta twice... Spurs, and then Man City. You know, a cynic, a cynic might suggest a certain manager could be relying on his former teammate to save his job pretty soon. Who has won the Harry Kane sweepstakes so far, Spurs or Man City? Good question. Well done. Kane had been looking disinterested, even sulky, since that big summer move the city fell apart. But then several of England's Euro 2021 stars have looked a bit off so far, probably fatigue being the main reason. And Kane does usually start seasons poorly. But then he scores a hat-trick last week, admittedly in that whole UEFA I don't want to be there cup, and then looks lively in a big win over Aston Villa on the weekend. City, meanwhile, have looked incredible for most of the season, but when they don't, then questions are asked. It does feel like having a legit golden boot favorite would put them just a bit above pretty much everyone else in world football. So I'm going to say Spurs have won the battle for now. But let's dust off those transfer gloves again in January. And finally, here's a bit of fun. You can sign one player for any amount of money for one match that kicks off next week. Who's it going to be? Me? No, not, not me. I'm going to choose Mo Salah, who should be getting lots of money on him for this year's Golden Boot Award. Yeah, I know he'll miss a couple of games at the African Cup of Nations early next year, but no one in world football is in better form, and no one looks more dangerous with the ball at his feet. Now, much is being made of his age and whether he should sign a new long-term deal at Liverpool, but I say... Do it! He's just 29, and as you're seeing more and more now, modern sports science is prolonging careers at the top. Hello, Robin Lewandowski, and those, those other couple of guys. Listen, Salah, love him, hate him, he's just a bag full of fun.